Welcome to the Protagonist Pub. My name is Tammy, and this is where characters gather. Okay, it is time for the August pile of possibilities. And this month, that is truly what this pile is. It is a pile of possibilities. I am, as you know, it is my birthday month. I am absolutely 100% mood reading for this month. And I am not going to be upset at myself if at the end of this month, the red pile is not reflective of the anticipated pile. I will be perfectly okay with that. I absolutely 100% will. Okay, so what book won this month? And uh, completely unsurprisingly, if you have followed the poll, it is Evermore by Jody Headland. And uh, I will put the chapter count up on Discord the last weekend in July. And I do not know when I will pick this up in August, to be honest. It is my birthday month. It is absolute mood reading me, mood reading month for me. So it may be early. It may be very late. Do not let my um, hesitation to pick up the book because it's a mood read month for me deter you from, you know, talking on discord and discussing the book with one another i will eventually get to it in august i promise when i go home when i come home yeah i know i'm gonna be i'm gonna be the man who comes back home to you i need my world well i know I'm so there are two readathons going on one starts at the very end of july one is all the way through august so the first one is the Summer Olympics Readathon, which runs from the 26th of July through the 11th of August. I will link the information for both readathons down below and their announcement videos. And um, Jeanette is co hosting this one over at Jane Reads. And I'm going to try. If it works, great. If it doesn't, that's great. So the first prompt for this is um, books it is Paris. And here's the graphic. And for this one, I'm going to choose The Twelve Suspects of Christmas by Anna T. Drew. I have this one started. I have temporarily set it aside so that I can finish it within the... Summer Olympics challenge so I can use it for this prompt. It is a murder mystery. Two little old ladies are protagonists. I am absolutely loving it. It is set in France. It, they go to Paris at one point. It fits this prompt perfectly and I am absolutely in the mood for it. The second prompt is medals. So, metallic on the cover, bronze, silver, or gold on the cover are the prompts. And these are incredibly difficult to find within my personal library and my library itself. So, on my Kindle, I have Codename Edelweiss by Stephanie Lansom. And it pictures right here has metallic on the cover it looks bronzy to me it may be gold but you know it's hard to tell silver is words of radiance by brandon sanderson the book is downstairs however the cover is right here and as you can tell yeah his name is in silver and then back on my kindle is sign of the cross by Anne emery this is a Catholic murder mystery series. It is the first in the series, and there is gold on this cover. So, 
that fits that prompt. The next prompt is first, second, and third. So the prompts for the prompt are book in a series, book in a duology, book in a trilogy, first book in a trilogy. So I, on Kindle Unlimited, there is Sunrise by Susan May Warren. It is the first book in a trilogy. And it is a book in a trilogy. So it hits two prompts all at once. I don't think I have anything for duology off the top of my head. And I always read a book in a series, so that's an easy one for me to finish. Next prompt is marathon. Read for three hours straight. Again, that's easy. And the last prompt is Olympic Games. Watch four events. I can do that too. So, so that's the Summer Olympics readathon. The next readathon is the Keep Me in Suspense readathon. And Jeanette and Amanda are co hosting this one. So, the first prompt is partner in solving crime a book from a favorite author and I have books two and three on my Kindle for this they're both from my Irene Hannah the first book is Labyrinth of Lies the third the second book is Labyrinth of Lies the th third book is Body of Evidence I read the first book last year which is point of danger and there are about three sisters in I want to say St. Louis and I thoroughly enjoyed the first one so I am looking forward to reading the other two. The second prompt is Race Against Time, a book under 250 pages. Uh, this one is going to be a little more difficult. That is a love inspired book most likely. I don't tend to read short books. I don't tend to enjoy short books. I don't know what I'm going to read for this one yet. I think I have something pulled up on my Kindle or saved in my Kindle to read for it. I don't know off the top of my head what that is. Let's see if I can find it really fast. And that would be a no. So... I will let you know when I read it. Third prompt is Rookie Officer. First book in a series. And that would be Hidden Target by Roxanne Rusland. It's available on Kindle Unlimited. I've never read anything by this author. So we shall see. Next prompt is Call for Backup. A Frank recommendation. And that would be Beneath the Surface by Lynn H. Blackburn. Jeanette loves this series. I think she's read it at least twice, so I am going to read that one. Last prompt means motive and opportunity. A book you already own and are dying to read. So that is books two and three in the Coastal Guardian series, which I just skipped here. And I have read, I read book one last year. It was not my favorite. And I believe Jeanette has read these as well and enjoyed them. So if I don't get too many surface, it would work for the previous prompt as well. Book two is The Crushing Depths. And book three is The Deadly Shadow Shallows. These are Christian romantic suspense. I love the covers. I did not enjoy book one. I guessed it. It was obvious very early on for me. And so I'm hoping books two and three are better for me so we shall see okay so 
that concludes the reading readathon choices. Let's see what is. Jeanette's prompt for the Christian Fiction Challenge of 2024 is a TBR vet. I don't know that I have a TBR vet that's Christian Fiction. Don't know. I will have to check. Okay, so what are my mood reads? There are two Dave picks in on the list. The first is one I've been wanting to read forever. I have started it. That is Boudicca, Dreaming the Eagle by Amanda Scott. I very much want to read this. I just need to curl up and read it. I'm on page 66 of 700 odd pages. Just under 700 pages. And I'm going to enjoy it. I just need to settle down and read it. So I keep telling myself that and I keep not doing it. So I need to do it. I'm running out of time. And the last choice I know I'm going to read for August. It may happen before August and my nail polish just completely flaked. I'm sorry about that. That would be The Bride of Ivy Green by Julie Classen. If I don't finish this one in July when I'm filming this, I will finish it in August. I've thoroughly enjoyed the first two books in this series and I am looking forward to the Christmas novella in this series which is A Christmas in Ivy Hill. So this is probably undoubtedly a no-brainer. Okay, next up is Goodreads Win, and that is because I love the cover, and I love the blurb on the back. That is Till Death Do Us Part by Lori Elizabeth Flynn, and it goes on sale the 13th of August. And I just think this cover is gorgeous, and this is a suspense thriller book, so right up my alley. And, uh, yeah, it's under 300 pages, so it would be a very quick read. And, mm, I want to know. I need to know. I have two Mary Kay Andrews books on my list. And they're both books I own and want to read. First one is Summer Rental. I love that cover. And... The second one is Savannah Breeze, which is the first book in the um, BB and Wheezy series, and I am looking forward to it. I am very much looking forward to it. So the last two are... One is a new purchase, and one is from last year. I want to get to them both. They're both very different from one another. The first one is Stuart Turton's second book, The Devil in the Dark Water. This is historical mystery and probably the sci-fi twist in there as well. Again, I cannot imagine I will not love this. And the second one I really want to read this month. And it has gold on the cover. So if I get to it early in the month, it works for the Olympic Challenge as well. That is A Marriage of Lions by Elizabeth Chadwick. Secular historical fiction takes place in the 13th century. Starts off in England. I bet you they go to Paris. I would not be surprised if they ended up in Paris. Um... But I absolutely love Elizabeth Chadwick's writing. She will be appearing in the Great Content Debate author you series I'm doing. And I love her. Yeah, I know I'm gonna so. be I'm gonna be the man who's walking hard for you. And when the morning 
is a clip. I'm sure there are things I'm going to read on Kindle Unlimited. I'm sure something in the library will catch my attention. But look, August is absolutely 100% mood read, and I'm looking forward to it. And I just need that peace that comes with mood reading. I need that peace. Leave a comment down below. What are you reading? Let me know in the comments. Like, subscribe, and I will see you next time at the protagonist's podcast.